We've reached the latter stages of homecoming weekend here in Terre Haute, Indiana. It is the Indiana State Sycamores playing host to the Drake Bulldogs. Right now, the Drake Bulldogs looking pretty good in conference. They've got on a small streak as of late. My name's Landon Kleindorfer, and with me, as always, Adrian Gonzalez. Adrian, right now, Drake Bulldogs looking pretty good. Drake Bulldogs are on a hot streak, and they look to continue that into today's matchup. Indiana State, homecoming weekend, looking to carry that energy in today's match. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights from those two games. We'll start it off with Drake. They took on Evansville, and they got the job done in three sets. Yeah, although it was a three-set match, talking with Coach, it was a hard-fought three-set match. Almost two of those matches went up to 27. Evansville actually had the game point on a couple of those matches, but Drake pulled away come up north a little bit, now taking on Indiana State. And on the Evansville side of things, you saw it, Alondra, Alondra Vasquez ends up being the all-time kills leader in Evansville history. Congratulations to her. On to yesterday evening's matchup with Indiana State and Northern Iowa. Indiana State gets swept in this one, but man, they looked hot at the beginning of each and every one of those sets. Yeah, like you had just mentioned, the first two sets, they took the lead. They just couldn't hold on to the lead, and they got swept, although they played a great game. Speaking with Ashley Pritchard, she wants that same energy today. And you take a look at the box score, Karina Gold, just one kill shy of a double-double. Yeah, and Taylor Alden, 37 assists in that one. And we take a look at the in-game stat leaders, Emma Kalen. She is hitting 471 right now. Laura Schutman with 16 kills. She's been getting the ball an absolute ton in this game. You can really tell that they rely on her to get those kills. The blocks, Allie Peterson has four of the team's nine. And of course, Melina Tetro is going to lead in dig. She's got 17 right now. She's being helped out by the team, though. Emma Kalen with 11, Shelton with seven, Gilly with eight. So there's a lot of players getting it done on the defensive end for Indiana State. The problem right now is plays like we just saw before the timeout where they're allowing too much space, too many creases, and Belmont is taking advantage. Coming out of the timeout, going to be a serve from Godfrey. Hamilton with a big shot. Keller able to slide through and keep that ball alive. As once again, same spot, opposite side of the net, and the Sycamores lose that point. Big block from Belmont to kind of start that rally right there, and the block came before this, but a nice job from Belmont on the defensive end. And talking about the blocks, they did not have a lot in set number two. They picked it up in the last two sets. Keller with a big shot right there. Nice sliding play by McBride as she dives for the dig. Brown is denied a solo block for Kristen Clemens, and now it is set point. Belmont's been picking up defensively on the blocks and on the digs as well, showing that they're not going to give in too easily. Now they're in a position for set point. No mistakes now from Indiana State. Kalen sets up Hamilton. Big shot right there. McBride able to track it down. And that one came a little crooked off the arm, but it works out for Belmont Bruins as they are able to pick up the victory in set number three. We move on to set four. Belmont leads it two sets to one. And we'll be right back here for set number four. You're watching The Valley on ESPN. And typically you might be nervous with a freshman, but Cadence Gilly has been so great in the service area for the Sycamores thus far, as that is a big play. Cadence Gilly not able to get to that one. And so now it's going to be match point for the Evansville Purple Aces. And for a second there, I looked up, up at Coach Morales. I thought he was arguing ready to challenge, and I remembered that they're the ones who got the point. I thought he'd get at least one more in this game. Rough serves, back set, Surrey, and it is out of play. The Purple Aces come away with the victory. A play that worked for Storm Surrey all night long. Just goes a little long, and Evansville able to hold out in this one. Hard fought match between these two. Three sets to one does not really tell the story of how good this game was all day long, and it was led by Alondra Vasquez. 
She ends up being the epic insurance, epic performer of the game. 21 kills, 19 digs, 21 and a half points. My goodness, she played so well today. She ends up hitting 260. Just what a day so dominant on that offense. You can see why she is one of the best players in this conference. ISU doing a pretty good job of defending, but just not enough to take them down. The home stretch over for the Sycamores. They end up going one and two overall in that stretch, and that will do it. So for Kelsey Casper, I am Landon Kleindorfer saying so long from the ISU arena on the campus of Indiana State University, where the final score is a purple ace victory, three sets to one. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Enjoy the rest of the first day of the rest of your life and have a great evening.